So we've got ourselves a brand new free update with lots of sweeping changes, hot fixes, and some new skills that Ubisoft have added, which you can now actually do in game, which is pretty cool. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over everything which I think is notable and important to know in the next five minutes to get you up to speed of where the game is right now, just before we dive into Wrath of the Druids in a couple of weeks time. So first up, this patch is out right now and it's available for you to download. So the sizes are about 12 to 16 gigabytes for the Xbox, depending upon your console, five to six gigabytes for the PlayStation and 14 gigabytes for your PC. So this is a little bit bigger than some previous title updates and that's for good reason because Ubisoft has said that this patch is adding support for the Wrath of the Druids preparing the game for that expansion release on May the 13th. So this means we're going to be getting a lot more info added to the game files particularly on PC with that 14 gigabyte update. So if any of you have actually watched our leak videos recently on this channel I reckon we may be getting some more juicy info by the weekend. In fact I actually know Pedder is on a mission plundering the game data as we speak right now and just to give you a little teaser of what's been found. So spoiler alert in BAM by the way and skip forward if you don't want to see this but we've got ourselves an irish sheepdog as an alternative to your wolf pet which is really awesome but of course i'll be sure to let you know when we do have some more leaks and info to share about the dlc so turn on your notifications if you want to be the first to know when that video drops so we've actually picked up three new skills which i was quite surprised at honestly but it does seem to be a trend with every title update now and that's quite welcome in my opinion they've also added bonus skill points so you can't actually unlock these skills straight away so if you want to unlock the skills and the extra skill boosts you'll need 17 levels on total which is quite the grind actually particularly if you complete the whole game and you've only got dailies and weeklies to do but first up we actually have the cold rage and this allows you to ignore hit interruptions while performing regular melee attacks and it recharges quite quickly after use so you don't get interrupted or pushed back too much secondly we have the eye of the north which prevents Eivor from flinching from hits while aiming with your bow this is going to stop you getting completely wiped out when aiming and it also recharges quickly after a few seconds and third we've got the intense rage so it's another ignore interruptions ability while you perform your next offhand parry so when you've got your shield or special attack and this also as well recharges after a few seconds so it's not constant a few other honorable mentions we've also got a buff to the fearless leaper ability so apparently it's now easier to jump from greater heights but i didn't actually use this one very much pre-patch if i'm honest but it does seem to be working pretty well for me we've also got an extended duration on the battle cry and i'd say this is about one to two second increase making it a viable option when it comes to skills but not something that i'd equip in my loadout personally and we've also picked up a slight nerf to the spinning death and vordir's bite perk because the buff poison chance was actually a bit too high apparently now moving on to some gameplay updates first up you can now toggle the cinematic camera screen on and off during finishing moves so this is a great little addition not that i don't like the finishing moves i actually do but if you're on a bit of a rampage the zoom in effect does actually take you out of your flow a bit and it can get a bit taxing when it's triggered six times in a row so you can actually toggle this in settings under gameplay as you can see here we can also now transmog our legacy outfits at gunner and ravensorp so i know a lot of us were concerned initially when we couldn't when the transmog update first launched because it didn't actually make a lot of sense not to but that's now actually been fixed so you can run around as Bayek or Altair and pick up the bonuses from your chess piece we just need this Bassam's outfit now and unless we get it next week I think this is probably going to come in Wrath. Now another great fix and that's fishing so the game has now been populated with halibut, sturgeon, big fish of all varieties including big flatfish but not mackerel so I haven't actually been able to get any of these since launch unfortunately and I still can't pick up that big mackerel fish but you can actually find sturgeon and big flatfish at the south of England and small halibut found in the marshes of Eastern Mercia. So I actually went there and tested these spots for you and I can confirm that these fishes are there and they are fishable. However, I did spend a good hour and a half in Norway looking for big mackerel at the spot where Ubisoft said they should be and I couldn't find a single one anywhere. So perhaps this is just my game, but I would be disappointed if this still hasn't been refined after two public hot fixes claiming that it has been. But if you find big mackerel, please let me know down in the comments. I owe you a coffee. So in terms of quests, you'll be pleased to know that some of the big boy quests like Brewing the Storm has been resolved as well as the Pick of Prophecy world event in Kent and the absence of the Elderman brooch fix as well. So you can actually continue with the storyline if you were stuck on these quests. The horse galloping sounds, which weren't appearing again now, have also been resolved and there's huge amounts more fixes. So if you're keen to know if your particular one has been resolved, I'll put the patch note in the description. Now, interestingly, in this patch, there's actually a huge amount of bug fixes and game improvements for the river raids. Now, some of you may know from our eight leaks to no lagger for video, we discussed that we'd actually found the river Eric in Ireland thanks to Pedder. Well, it looks like these river raids are going to be making a bit of a makeover and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more refinement going into the DLC. Now if you found this breakdown helpful a like on the video would be incredibly kind it lets me know that you enjoy these five minute crunch updates and it helps me out as a fairly new YouTuber so big thank you. But what do you think of all this I know a lot of these bugs should have actually been sorted at launch but this is small incremental progress with a solid amount of hot fixing before the DLC which is really welcome. Anyway I think that'll do from me have a great rest of the week and I will see you at the weekend and as usual coffee's on me.